Firstly, I add a face tracker from this tab. Face tracker is an object following my model's face as you see those arrows there. I can put any 3D objects under this. I can put the ones I downloaded earlier or playing something. Anything. Let's begin with the face match. That's a 3D object Spark AR offers us. That's covering my model's face as a face mask and gives me an opportunity to make an effect on it. Now by clicking to face match here, I create a material. This is a tool that lets me control of the texture of the face match under assets. We do not move this to scene, it's staying here as on the textures. Now when I change its color from here, the face match color will change. There's too many features here, we will take a look later. Let's type mask here by tapping twice on it, then by pressing enter. Let's say this one a mask too, for not to get confused. Now let's open layers, one each, and say mask on those two. Layers are helping us to keep and arrange our objects separately. Now by clicking to mask, then by coming here, I can change its layer. Now we will add a texture to our material for that I will suggest to your website, hexels.com. You can download free image from this website. You will need image to use on your model, so you can use this website for that. Now I'm looking for a mask image. This looks fine. It has basic surroundings and it's facing to me. I click link to free download. You can also donate to the author. Now I clicked on show in browser. Then I right click to the image. Then click on open with Photoshop. I'm making the arrangements via Photoshop. You can also use different softwares. So. My image is here now. I need another file. On the first lesson, the downloading lesson, we downloaded a file called Face Assets. It's good to remind it, export it from the zip file and use it on your desktop. Now I'm clicking to textures. Now we have two images here. Those images are the reference images provided from Spark Air tools. There is a face masculine for men and face feminine is for women. We are choosing the masculine because we are going to work on men's face. Clicking to open with Photoshop again. That's here too. Now I need to take this mask from here. Firstly, I unlock its layer from here. After that, I choose the polygonal tool. Then I start taking it from its edges. With right clicking of the mouse. You don't have to do it perfect because we're gonna soften its edges. Cause we're gonna soften it with the razor too. No need to spend much time on it. That's okay now. Now I choose the move tool. After choosing it, I'm dragging it on my reference image. Now from here, I will reduce its opacity. I should choose the mask from the layers. After reducing its opacity, I can see how it's gonna look on my reference image. Now I choose the layer again, I press the Ctrl T to resize to it. It's open now. By holding the Alt key, I'm resizing it by using my cursor. I'm arranging it to fit on the reference image. I can enlarge it a bit more. Yes. That looks fine like that. I click on enter after the sizing process. I'm increasing opacity again from here. We forget to take off the eyes on image. Let's click Ctrl plus T again. It looks a bit rotated to left. Let's rotate it to right end. Now I'm zooming into, uh, into the eyes. I choose the razor tool from here. Then right clicking here after right click. 
I chose the hot round eraser too. I reduce its size. Looks fine. I left clicked to the edge. Then come to other edge. I hold shift and left click again from here. It will erase this space here. Then I manually erase the rest. Looks fine. Let's do the other eye like that too. Left click to edge, hold shift, left click to other edge, then clean the rest. Yes, I've done the eyes. Now I need to unlock the background. After unlocking it, let's hide this one by clicking here for now. Now I have a magic wand tool here. I have to choose the layer first. Then from here, by holding the shift, the tool will choose the similar colored pixels around. Just like that. Looks fine now. Maybe the eyes, but we're gonna take the eyes too. Then by coming here, choose that mark tool. You can choose the elliptical one by right clicking here. Now by holding shift button, let's choose the middle area too. It's done. Now hold shift control N. I created a new layer by then. I will fill this layer to white. So I have a white background now. Now I'm opening the mask layer back. Then I choose this layer again. Now I don't want those eyes look white on the mask. So I choose the magic wand too. Click here once, then hold shift and choose the right eye too. Now I choose them both, then I'm choosing my background layer and delete the area I choose. Now I have open eye holes then. Now I choose this mark tool, then click in an empty area. I'm coming back to the mask choosing the eraser tool. Now I will choose the soft round one for this process. Let's enlarge it a bit more. Now I will soften the mask edges. We are doing it to give a soft look to filter. This bit needs more. Let's clean the bottom like this. It's been too much, let's redo it with Ctrl Z. I'll reduce the opacity for this. Okay, I see better now. After clicking like this, it will be the same as my face. Okay, let's increase opacity again. Now while this layer is selected, hold Ctrl Shift M and say OK. I'm coming back to this layer. Selecting the red magic wand too. I made the selection. I'm coming back to the new layer. I choose the white gradient too and fill the sea. To get rid of the selection, I'm selecting the mark tool, clicking to an empty space. Now I will type 30% to opacity. I'm reducing it to 30%. Oh, okay, my image looks fine now. I need to save that. I'm making this invisible by clicking here on the reference image. Because I just want the mask image. I clicked on file, then click on save as. Okay. Let's save it here. From this tab, I choose PNG and type as mask. I save that. Say okay to this. Now I save the image. I come back to Spark AI. From this step, I click on Add Assets. 
Now I'll import a texture like we did before on fixed target tracker lesson. From here I need to find the mask image I just saved. I saved it in face assets. We said mask. Now my texture is here. As you remember, we connected the material to face match. Now from material, I choose the mask texture. And now I have my text texture on my model's face. Now from material, I will make some settings of it. From here, I opened the specular. Specular is using for light reflection. Let's swap this to color. Let's make it a bit whiter. Click OK and set this to 67. Now I have a brightness on the face. Lastly, when we click on replace, it's been so dark, but our model will appear better. By that, we have done adding textures to face match lesson. Now let's see what else we can do with face match. Now we will see. How to make tattoo with face match? I've downloaded a bird PNG. There are some websites you can find PNG images. If you search by adding PNG to the end of your search on Google. Now this time we open face match trackers with Photoshop. When it's first open, we have a screen like that. To see it better, I hold Ctrl Shift N and opened a new layer. From here I will add a white background. That's no white, let me get a white. That's only for seeing it better. Now I'm moving the bird image on the model. I'm resizing it by Ctrl T. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm rotating it to put on this cheek. That's okay. Now this model's feature is those red dots are the face trackers tracing points. I mean it's tracking the face by getting those dots as reference. Not all the face, only those dots. That's what those red dots represents. And I also and also I can easily see the depth of the face. That's why we are working on this one while working on tatty effects. The other mask was covering whole face, so it wasn't that important. But on this one, we will make something on a part of a face, so we need to see the depth and points. Now I also gonna add a text here. I choose my text and changing its color from here. Let's make it black. Now for example, my text going different from the face reference. So I'm holding Ctrl T, holding from here and rotating it on the horizontal lines. So my text will a better to the roundness of face. The verse tail is very low. Let's rotate it a bit. I can move this to top. Let's make this bird or just will look colorful. After making those, I'm turning this layer off. And the white background also. After I'm coming here and making the same process as before, I choose PNG, type bird, and save that. Then I open Spark AI again. I had my mask here. Let's choose our bird from here. I choose the bird image came on the mask. Now this time I'm swapping my texture to bird. Now let's... Oh here is the speckle is open. 
that's why it's open now let's close the speckler and change the replace as alpha now the bird is on the model's face like a tattoo now to make it look better we have a face paint shadow too when we do this it will look more realistic on it we can change its settings from here we will see the details on shaders so we can make the tattoo effects just like that for example we could do this black too you can make new designs on photoshop or another software we also have a makeup tool like that but we will see it after makeup thing templates the face tracker is like that